Good morning and praise the Lord. I welcome you to Greater Bethlehem Temple Apostolic Church's Primary Sunday School Class, ages 5 through 8. I am your teacher, Sister Casey Fisher. For those of you who have joined my class before, you know we always begin by acknowledging and praising God for everything he has done for us. Think about all the ways God has helped you this week. Are you thinking of something? All right, hold it right there in your mind and let's get ready to give God thanks. That's right. On the count of three, we are going to shout as loud as we can. Thank you, Jesus. Is everyone ready? You are? Okay, let's go. One, two, three. Thank you, Jesus. One more time. Thank Jesus. And one last time. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, you guys did such a great job. You were nice and loud. I could hear each and every one of you. You know what? God loves when we praise him. He loves when we give him thanks. It pleases him, and we should always want to please God. Hey, you guys know what? We can ask God for things, too. We can tell him what we need. Let him know. What do you need help with? It doesn't matter how big or small. He will be there for you. You don't have to say it out loud if you're not comfortable. You can just hold it in your heart and God will still hear you. He wants to help. I have a little secret you guys want to know. You guys want to know a little secret? You do? Did you know that telling God thank you plus Telling God what you need equals prayer. Who knew it was that easy? And it is. Tell God thank you. Let him know that you're grateful. And then let him know what you need from him. That is how you pray. It is so easy to have a prayer relationship with God. Talk to him. He's waiting. So now that we know what our thanks are, what we need, we're going to put it together in prayer right now. Lord, we come to give you thanks for all the things you have done for us, all the things you are doing for us, and all the things that you are going to do. We appreciate and love you, God. You wake us up and keep us safe each day so that we can live for you. We ask you, Lord, that as we prepare ourselves for each day, that you direct our hands, our feet, and rest on our heart. Open up our understanding around the things we learn in Sunday school and help us to hide them in our heart. Help us to be wonderful examples of your love, your grace, your mercy, and help us to share your word with others so that they can live for you too. We thank you, Lord, and we ask of you all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, let's get ready to dive into our lesson. Be sure to look out for our special focus words.
Lesson 8 Israel Rejects God as King This lesson text can be found in 1 Samuel chapter 9 verses 1 through 2 and chapter 10 verses 17 through 26. Our golden text comes from 1 Samuel chapter 10, verse 19, and reads, Ye have this day rejected your God, who himself saved you. Where would you find a king? A king store? A fairy tale book? No, that would be silly. When God's people first entered the promised land, God was their king. He led them through judges he sent to help them, but soon they left God. God's people wanted a human king, just like all the countries around them. No human king could be as good of a king as God, but they didn't care. So God chose a human king for his people. He knew exactly who to pick. He told one of the judges named Samuel that Saul was to be king. Saul was very tall and handsome. Samuel met with the people and told them that Saul was their new king since they said no to God as king, even though God had saved them many times. God was going to show all the people the man he had chosen for their king was Saul, but when they looked around, they could not find him. Saul was hiding. Samuel told that Samuel told Saul that as king he couldn't just do whatever he wanted. He had to follow God's laws. Saul did not follow God's rules though. He was a bad king. Even if Saul did follow all of God's rules, he still could not have been a better king than God because God saved his people and always does what is right. Did you find the special focus word? If you said king, you are absolutely correct. Congratulations. Now it's time for review. What did we learn? Wanting what someone else has is not always best. Is this true or false? True. God knows exactly what each of us needs, and he gives us just that. If we focus on having what others have, it might lead to trouble. Humans can do just as good of a job as God. Is this true or false? False. Humans are born into sin and are not perfect. We need God to help us do right. God is without sin and always does what is right. There is no king greater than God. Is this true or false? True. 
true. God is the all-powerful creator of all things, and only he can save us. Today's main points. God is our true king. God knows what's best for us. Remember, Jesus loves us all. Join me next Sunday for lesson nine of our fall series, Joshua's Last Words. This lesson comes from Joshua chapter 21, verse 1 and verses 14 through 24. If you would like to participate in the upcoming lesson, please email me at caseysenoviafisher at gmail.com. You can share what you're thankful for, tell me what most excited you about the lesson, or share the upcoming lesson's golden text. Our upcoming lesson's golden text comes from Joshua chapter 24, verse 15. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Check out our other classes. On YouTube, you'll find our junior class ages 9 through 12 with Sister Robin Miller and our intermediate and teen class ages 13 through 17 with Sister Ray Deloach. On Telechurch, you can access our adult Sunday school class at 9 a.m. and Monday prayer at 6.30 p.m. by dialing 917-900-1022, code 4781-4781-POUND. You can also join us for our live streaming. You can access our live stream on our website at www.gbtac.org. Or you can find us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram at GBTAC Cincinnati. Our Sunday morning service begins at 11 a.m. And our Tuesday night Bible class at 7 p.m. Do you need prayer? Our prayer counselors are available to pray with you. You can access them by dialing 513-913-3625. Please consider supporting this ministry. We have four ways to give. Smart giving, online at our website, by mail, or in person. We'd love to see you, and we thank you in advance for your generous donation. For upcoming services and events at Greater Bethlehem Temple Apostolic Church, please visit our website at www.gbtac.org or call the church office at 513 513- Six eight one nine six six five. Until next time, have a blessed week.